Hi, I'm Addie Van Pelt. And I'm Becca Langdon. And, and this, this is, is the Cynic, Cynic Minute. Minute. Last week, atop a rock near the Davis Center, survivors of sexual assault shared their stories and asked UVM to do more. It was organized by the queer and transgender group QTs who emphasized access to education, the importance of intersectionality, and the impact of rape culture on campus. Reporting sexual assault and misconduct at UVM can be done through CAPS, the Campus Victims Advocate, UVM Police Services, or the Title IX Office. Jason Malucci and Tyler Davis, the SGA President and Vice President, have laid out plans for the current academic year, hoping to get the SGA more involved with student life. One of their goals is to hold faculty accountable for posting course syllabi and descriptions as soon as registration opens. The Burlington skyline is reaching a new height, which some residents say will change the city UVMers call home. The City Council unanimously voted on September 29th in favor of allowing the city to redevelop the Burlington Town Center Mall by raising the building's height to 14 stories. This has been met with some controversy, but the goals of the Burlington Mall redevelopment are to include new downtown housing, new retail, new office space, new hotel and conference facilities. It would also include more underground parking. A Black Lives Matter flag was flown outside the Davis Center last week, making the University of Vermont one of the only public institutions to have supported the flag. At UVM this week, both sides of the discussion have vocalized intense emotion in raising the flag. It was briefly stolen and quickly replaced by the university. Bree Ball, a student, countered, there's a lot of misunderstanding about what the flag means. Our societies need to learn that and better understand racism and social justice. Last Wednesday, Haiti Guadalupe Miranda and Akila Ho Young hosted a blackout around the flag as a chance for members of the community to show their support and engage in a peaceful demonstration. That's all for this week. You can hear more about these stories in this week's edition of The Cynic. And check out our other shows at uvmtv.org.